Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Data Stream in Summit and look over with me, Matteo uh, from Stream Native. Matteo, uh, first of all, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut, super excited Thank to you. chat today. Hi. Uh, Matteo, just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Stream Native. Sure. Uh, I'm Matteo Merli, I'm the CTO in Stream Native. I'm one of the co founders of Stream Native and I'm the co creator of, of Apache Pulsar and uh, PMC chair of other projects as well. So. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Matteo, uh, just to get started, I saw some fantastic announcements that you made this morning at the keynote. And uh, I'm kind of uh, wanting to you know, share that with our audience as well. So can you tell us uh, the announcements that were made today uh, morning at the keynote and uh, why should it excite the community? Sure. Um, so one one thing with the announcement, kind of, kind of like a continuous iteration on the on the Orsa engine, and one that we are kind of moving Orsa to the also the classic users, mm -hmm. so trying, trying to bridge existing users of Pulsar, uh, classic Pulsar clusters, into they can take advantage on a topic by topic basis on getting getting all the advantages of Orsa. So uh, lo, uh, cost optimized versus latency optimized, and uh, and getting like uh, all the trade-offs that they can choose for each topic. Okay, and uh, why is it important for the community? Um, kind of, you know, also because I see a lot of developers attending the conference, a lot of uh, enterprise leaders who are also, mm -hmm. you know, wanting to learn so much more about streaming. How does it help them uh, and why is it important now more than ever? So, um, and we've seen like, like, like a, a huge trend of uh, developer asking uh, to, to get native like cloud integration. That's what also del delivers. That's why we did a big investment, a big push into ma making sure that we had the best native in integration yep. with uh, all the like cloud provider, all different formats, catalog integration, and so on. So that is where <laughs> we are. Yeah. Uh, put a lot, of, lot, lot of efforts, and uh, I think people are loving that, and yep. uh, that's uh, um, that's very refreshing to see, and yep. uh, and uh, and they are, and they are kind of appreciating the effort and appreciating the result as well. And how do you see the space, uh, you know, evolving, say in the next eight to ten months? So where do you see it going? How do you see streaming? Uh, because we've seen a lot of things changing in the last, say, three to, I guess, in the last three years, I would say. Um, but even like. Eighteen months, I would say. <laughs> I, like, like, I, 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 interesting is, is that uh, uh, I think the the space was moving a bit slower before. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we are trying to push out and push, push the needle all the way, but uh, like the industry was like, kind of, like chugging along, and suddenly like there were like, a lot of in, in, innovation happening. Yep. Uh, interesting, like outside of the open source space, in, in many in many ways, like, uh, like all the innovation has been pushed behind closed doors. Uh, the proprietary firms that we're, we're trying to get that out as well with the standard format we like standard formats and uh, and uh, and uh, making sure that user can choose that, that their own uh, storage formats right, and so on right uh, but but yeah i, I, I think it's seen, it looked like like a career kind of uptick in uh, innovation and activity in the in the streaming space uh, mm. i think also on the, on the on the compute side of things and so on so there's a lot lot, lot of things going on where we're going to be in the next one year that's uh, that, that's tough to say i, th I think I, I hope that this space keep and increases, so yep. uh, I think we are ready to to kind of like go on and keep innovating and keep uh, introducing like new new features and new new models for our users. Like like also like this uh, announcement we did around the the, the agent um, engine. Yep. I think that, that that's one of them trying to make sure that we can get things uh, uh, very easy to use out of the box for the developer. That that's one thing that we want to. Keep doing. Love it. Uh, thanks for those insights. Uh, I'm kind of also uh, wanting to learn a little bit about the openness in the ecosystem right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we all know this year's Data Streaming Summit is intentionally open and multi-technology. Uh -huh. uh, how did it feel to be compared to other conferences you have attended? Uh, can you share a little bit more? Uh, sure. Uh, I think our intention was, so we started as a Pulsar Summit initially, and, yep. and we had all the talks about Pulsar and so on, and we, we figured out that we're leaving a lot of like uh, voices out, uh, and uh, I mean yes, there are other forums, but I, I think it's good to have a lot of sharing ideas. So you you, you see today there were like, people are talking about how they they scale their Kafka, Kafka clusters, what what they did, and why did they choose this, yep. why did they choose yep. that, and I think uh, that uh, we love that. We love, we love to see like people like how they think about the problem, how they so they, true, and, and they can share that, and uh, so I. I I think it, it helps everyone, uh, all, the, all the community and the industry to mature uh, a lot, uh, to, to see 
that is not a, not a threat to see that, that someone is doing some, something different. It's probably an opportunity to understand why they're doing that and what are the motivations. Uh, there, there are always motivations. Sometimes yeah. you, you might agree or not, but the people will have their own reasons. So <laughs> I think it helps more to understand why people are making this decision rather than say that, okay, this that does not exist. Because yeah. it, it does exist. So you have to take this. So true. So true. And uh, it's actually a good way to, you know, also get the community together, get the developers together to talk about the problems that they are facing collectively mm -hmm. and, you know, the feedback that they can give to each other at the same time too. I've seen, you know, conversations around not only just the developers, but enterprise leaders chatting with developers and you know the different community members who are kind of you know wanting to come forward and help them in their different problems and share about uh, you know problem solving uh, at this data streaming summit so uh, this is a great way and this is my first data streaming uh -huh. summit so I really loved it and um, also uh, talking about the tracks right uh, so many different tracks, so many different leaders. I saw the co-founder of Databricks this morning as well. Uh, and all the leaders in the data and AI space uh, have been, you know, in the streaming space have been here talking. Uh, any favorites? Uh, anything? I know yeah, it, it would feel biased to be picking favorites, <laughs> but anything that you would like to highlight at least? I, I will call out the brain uh, uh, machine. Shared some side. amazing yeah, insights. Yeah, yeah, like a very like a simple core ideas, but like a very, very, very uh, inspiring and very interesting. So that's, that would be my, my highlight there. But yeah, <laughs> awesome. Uh, lots of good talks. And, uh, yeah. and, and, and again, as we're chatting like, really all, all over the place uh, from like, a, like use cases. So true. Uh, like people, how people choose technology to like deep dives into uh, things that they did either in Pulsar or in Kafka or how they scaled Kafka or how they use lake houses. And so and it's really like a all around yeah. the, but still are all around the streaming. So the, st the streaming, streaming. You know, all, these, all these shapes and forms is still, still like the common denominator. So that's, that's, that's where we like. Yeah, yeah, that's what, and to be honest, that's, you know, even at, during the keynote, we've seen uh, not only people from LinkedIn, from OpenAI, from Motorc, uh, everyone kind of, you know, sharing about how they've been using stream native, but at the same time, how is streaming uh, the space in, you know, the challenges in uh, the solution. So it's fantastic. Um, one last question for you is uh, about Data Streaming Summit. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have to rate it between zero to 10, uh, what would you rate? Um, I would say like a seven, seven eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there were a like, lo lot of people, a lot of old faces and new faces, so that's what that was a uh, uh, happy to see. Uh, but, so, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and if people want to reach out to you, uh, Matt, you're back oh, in they, yeah. they can reach out to me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn? They just search. I'm Pretty much Mateo, there. Mateo Mali, yeah, you, you can find <laughs> me. Uh, or, or, yeah, that's... that's Fantastic. Uh, such a pleasure chatting with you, Matteo. And uh, thanks for sharing all the great insights and uh, great announcements that you all have made this morning. Uh, congratulations on all the Thank great you. work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.